lovelies and welcome to this week's episode from Tough Rocks. Now last week you might have heard me mention that I'd started painting this whole episode early so I've used the same process as I have last week. I'll put a link to last week's in the description box below but here it is almost finished and I've left it dry all week. So here it is all nice and dry and what I did as well was I went over it with some waves to make it almost look like a flame. And what I want to show you is one of the biggest comments that we have back when we give away resources is why don't you ever give us any stencils? Well we've given away quite a few hundred craft bags and a few hundred stencils just isn't going to be possible. So you've may have noticed a number of tutorials now where I've shown you how to use stencils, make your own stencils, different ways of doing stencils, and this is one of them. I've already cut this out. This is a little forget-me-not flower, and I want to put this guitar on here as well. So I'm going to draw those on in pencil first. And then I'm going to go around it in black pen so you guys can see it. Now I could have done this freehand, but I've chosen to use stencils so you can see the whole process. For the sake of this video, I'm going to go around this in black pen. Of course, when you do yours, just leave your pencil line there. But of course, you guys don't get to see the pencils very well when it's on video. So here's my guitar. Of course, the flower now is going behind it. So even though I can still see my pencil lines in here, I'm not going to do those. Here I am saying I can see my pencil lines. And I'm having difficulty seeing them. What's going to happen to this now is this and this is going to get a white undercoat. Which means when I come back, I'm going to need these again so I can redo my outlines. Now, I'm not going to make you sit through watching me do an undercoat. So I'll be right back when that's done and all nice and dry. Okay, so obviously I have lost all the little bits of detail that I put in earlier. But I've kept these anyway. I'm laying this back on. And I'm going to go around it with my black pen. Now, there's a lot of other details in here. So what I'm going to do is cut them out. So let's cut this out. What I'm also going to do, I don't know if you can see this, I'm going to cut this other piece out here. Now normally I do these kind of things freehand, but I really need you guys to see how you can do your own stencils. Don't throw any of these away, otherwise you're not going to know what to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint this part in a pale brown. Then after that I'm going to do the flower. Then I'm going to paint this part. This part's going to stay white. And then I'm going to put some detail on it. So I've just mixed some dark brown with some white for this. I might put another coat on that, I'm not sure yet. So here's my plan. Two different shades of blue. And then I'm going to go around it at the very end with a blue pen. Now I need my stencil poked a hole in the middle. just need to know where this is going to go. I should have done this before I painted the guitar neck. Alright. Okay, I've got it. 
All right. to use a dowel rod with a black dot in the middle. I need to find a nice chunky size one. I put this little black dot right in the middle and I go as far as to say that I might need to make this a bit bigger later. Now this doesn't look like much at this very moment because there's a lot of detail that needs to go into here and there's a strong possibility that what I'm going to end up doing is using paint pens to finish the detail off. For example, you know the machine heads, the uh, all the knobs and, and buttons and all that kind of stuff. All those needs to go on here. Obviously I'm not going to be able to fit them all on but I'm going to do my best anyway. So let's wait for this to dry and we'll come back and finish it off. So I've got to that point where I have to wait for everything to dry. I just noticed I put some marks on here. It's okay, I can cover those. I now have to wait for everything to dry before I can continue and do the rest of the decoration. Okay, we're all nice and dry everywhere. I'm at that point now where I'm going to be adding details, so there's not going to be a lot of talking from me. And what I will say to you is, I am not going to be able to get all of these details in for the neck, but I'm going to do my best. So as I'm going along, you'll see which bits I'm doing. These nice bits I'm going to do in silver, and we'll see what happens.
there are times when you're creating anything or painting anything that you need to know where to stop and I go as far as to say that this is where I'm going to stop what I've done with this is put some glitter varnish on here because I've added some blue pen in there so it's kind of run a little bit which is exactly what I wanted I've not put any glitter varnish on the guitar or anywhere else and here we are so the whole idea of this week's project was for you guys to see that you genuinely can use anything as templates stencils whatever you're only limited by your imagination so I hope you've enjoyed this week's tutorial guys and I will see you again next week. We release new tutorial videos every Monday morning. If you'd like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe or sponsor us using any of the supporter links in the description below. Until I see you next week, keep on rocking. Ciao for now.